I'm coming to you today with just some thoughts that you know could help somebody get through something they're going through that that I have been dealing with for the past couple of years until until I have finally just come to peace with the, the fact of the matter and today I had to go over to Greenville which is the neighboring town which is much more let's say metropolitan like than where I live very fancy over there there's a huge mall and it's just like very sort of upscale anyway I was over there and I was driving down the road I had to go to the to the Apple phone store and they did fix my phone and gave me a brand new battery and it's all Chris and I are up and running BAM yay for Chris and Tanny <laughs> but what it, it really got me thinking about something this morning that almost brought tears to my eyes. I tried to make a video then, but I just sort of couldn't pull it together. And it wasn't tears of sadness or really tears of joy. What it was was just tears of recognizing the growth that I've gone through over these in the last few years. How I honestly have gone from a cocoon caterpillar to a butterfly and now fly high every day with no remorse and no regret for any moment of my life. I was on the road and I had um, passed by because I was a few minutes early to go to the Apple store and I passed by this place called the Melting Pot which is a very fancy restaurant. I've only been there one time and they, this is years ago when I used to even eat meat. Um, they brought out little cubed of cooked meat like fajita style meat and you would dip it in it's like a fondue kind of place but they had like little cakes and, and cheese dip and and chocolate dip for strawberries very fancy well my ex-husband took me there when we had our five-year wedding anniversary and we have been together since I was almost 20 but 19 until till 41 and we were married right at 20 years and um it suddenly brought back this flashback of memories, but it wasn't a bad thing because I've come to a point in my life where I can recognize that, that there were good times and take that from the past and not, I refuse to live in resentment. I know so many people that live like that and what does it do is it poisons them not the other person that they still have resentment for and plus at this time in my life I would like to recognize that we both had short uh, shortcomings you know we both fell short and if I had to do it again I would do it again even with it coming to what it did and a lot of bad times in the end we had a lot of good times and I have two beautiful children that are my best friends to infinity and beyond you know and a lot of good memories so nothing will steal that from me but you know when I look back I, I remember things now that you know I would never um, now not hold his hand you know what I mean if I was to do it over again I would never not hold his hand no matter how irritated I was or how whatever it wouldn't matter because it was he and I against the world, you know. I would never go to bed mad and in that state where I was just like as far on my side of the bed as I could. I would never do that. It wouldn't matter. All I would want to do is show love and give love because that's all you can do, you know, is do your part regardless and do your best. But it just reminded me that restaurant bought a, brought a big flashback and it was it's sort of ironic because um, I think it's this week I don't know because uh, there's really no contact of the rapture but um, I've heard and, and seen pictures and things where he's getting married and and uh, his new bride is very beautiful and she looks very sweet and I really have nothing when I saw a photo of them I have nothing but but love for that situation like a giving love and light towards that and I I hope that it's the beginning of a beautiful lifelong love you know I really do and it is so freeing because 
you know, when that news came out and some, some friends of mine were like, oh, well, how does that make you feel and all that? I didn't feel angry. I didn't feel hurt. I didn't feel resentful. It is what it is, and I will continue to show love no matter what. But what else do I want to tell you about that? I had some thoughts this morning that I jotted down on my napkin. Very professional. Um, you know, it's really weird when you've been with somebody that long. And even when we went through our hearings and all that. And y'all don't hear me talk a lot about this because I don't... I don't want anybody to ever think I'm bashing anyone that can't take up for their self. That's, that's not why I'm coming to y'all with this. I'm coming to y'all with, I, I can't stand, and it hurts me to see other people living with resentment, you know, and you don't have to be that. You can have the decision to release that no matter what somebody's done to you, how dang wrong they did you. It doesn't matter who was wrong in the end, you know. It, it, so so what you can relish in I was right what trophy did that get you it got you nothing but some more resentment or like how can I get back at them or I just don't live there and I have been able to release that and a lot of people you all that haven't gone through this may not understand what I'm saying just turn me off now but you all that have that may be still living with that and with that hurt there is a way to blow that black smoke out and move on with you. You know, I mean, look at all the good, focus on what good came out of the situation. So that then, if you see a picture or someone mentions it, and um, people love to bring the past up, you know, because basically they live in the past and they live in remorse and resentment and they people like other people to be in misery if they're miserable i really do think that and it's sad but when you choose to focus on the good what you focus on grows you know and we had a lot of good years and that's what i focus on not the bad you know but at the same time i try to really think what could i have done different how could tanny have been better you know, and there were a lot of years of sickness and a lot of things that I couldn't help. But some things I could have helped, you know. I could have been more supportive. And you can always be more loving and all those things. And most of all, I would have maintained my authentic self. Upon which I lost along the way. The very thing that he fell in love with had I forfeited for my family. You see what I mean? It's a catch-22, really, you know? Um, what else? You know, and, and when you go through these divorce hearings or you go through, you, you may have some kind of family court or different things, and you look over and you see the hands that your hands were in for all those years. The very hands that were gonna protect you and hold you tight and and be there for you no matter what that had, had turned cold and callous to you. And it's a very hard thing, but if you try and strive, you can grow from that, you know? You know, it's hard when you try to start making a new life or thinking about new relationships or different things because people bring a lot of baggage, you know? But what you have to do is find people that understand you and really love you for your vulnerabilities and are able to unpack the suitcases with you, you know? Because everybody has stuff. And even if you're young now and you haven't been through this, most people, I worked in the school district for over a decade. Kids, they got stuff now almost every one of them and it's really sad that is why i was a good teacher because i love children where they are and i looked in their eyes and they looked back and i heard what they said you know and and that no one will take that from me even now that i'm not doing that job anymore no one can take that from me and no one can take 
those little children that I run into in the grocery store and, and they yell my name and they remember me and they're Christopher size, you know? No one will take that and no one will take my good memories, nor the joy I feel now that my ex-husband will be remarried. I wish him all the joy in the world and I hope he and his new very beautiful bride grow roots together and bloom, you know? That's where you want to get in life. Also, like, you know, even we could we could put this with your diet and lifestyle. Let's just say, for example, you say, well, you know, I've failed at this, I've failed at that. You know, I can't move on, and you're sort of almost resentful at the fact that, frankly, how much have you wasted, and you want to just say, you know what? Screw it. I don't want to do it anymore. It's taken too much. It's not working. Well, you know what? You're never going to get past anything like that accept your mistakes and claim and own them as your own therefore you can move forward you know it, it's exciting to me and, and this morning I really had a sort of revelation it was an aha moment when I saw that restaurant and those memories I had no clue I was fixing to have this memory flashback it's very strange and even though you know I know I did everything I could I, I know at, at the end you know what I mean and it was too little too late it's too little too late when you say baby come home all touching no talking and it doesn't work when that's even like and it just slips away so what do you have left when that slips away in the palm of your hand you have your memories and you have what you have built from of yourself to the better you is what you have so I had no idea those memories were going to come flooding back and when I had this aha moment this morning I thought wow all I have is love all I have left for that situation after all the burn the rubble pile and all that is love and most of all, my beautiful family, right here, he stands, waiting on his mommy. <laughs> There's no better prize than that. Hey, baby. Oh, hey. <laughs> we forgot to mail the bills. We should do that. How was your day? Boring boring well it is thursday i mean monday of a two-day week mm -hmm. <laughs> yes christopher has been on his vegetarian diet now for about i want to say almost eight months don't you i don't know I don't pay attention to six it. to eight months and will you be consuming the carcass of a being for thanksgiving i doubt it <laughs> Oh, he's a ball player. Let me see. I see it. I have it. Come on. He can walk now. Come on and walk. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Say bye. Sorry. You look pretty today. Yeah. Hey. Make your little baby talk. Hey, little baby. <laughs> Bye. Little baby. What are you doing? Hey, little baby. Say hey. Say hey. Nana, y'all match today. Say hey. Say hey. Hey, Carly. Hey, baby.